I'm Greg Blonder, professor in the Mechanical Engineering Department at Boston University, and I teach product design and manufacture. Product design is a very eclectic field, and I sort of have an eclectic background. I began at Bell Laboratories as a physicist, uh, doing basic research, eventually rose to become the chief technical advisor for the whole corporation, and became involved in new product introductions. After AT&T, Bell Labs, I left for venture capital and did that for 15 years and ran a number of companies. Since then, I've been doing uh, consulting and now teaching here at BU. At BU, we teach product engineering, which means both the design and how do you bring it in manufacture. Industrial design is incredibly important. Some products are purchased simply because of the way they look or the way they function, but our goal here is to train people to become designers can actually get it into the market and to make it a successful product. One of the classes I teach here is advanced product design. And the goal of this class is for you to leave here and have been exposed to all the elements of product design and to figure out which one that you want to specialize in. We teach everything from product market fit, how do you decide what product and what features to build. Then we teach basic engineering skills, uh, CAD, artificial intelligence skills, uh, materials design, how to fasten two parts together and not have them fall apart, how things are manufactured, and how to choose a design which is easily manufactured at cost and at quality. And then the second term, we extend those skills, uh, and then there's a very large project build by team. The art of engineering is the art of compromise. It's not about building something new or unusual, but it's making sure that it meets customers' needs. And so a lot of what we do in the class has to do with learning from the past so we can do better in the future. One of the skills we teach is reverse engineering, which is taking apart products, learning how they're built, and then finding a way to improve upon them. Some people think about that as cheating, but it's actually the most important part of engineering, which is a lot of mistakes were made in the past and why repeat them in the future. So reverse engineering helps you avoid the mistakes of the past. One of the things we hear from companies when they employ students is their greatest disappointment is students do have no appreciation for how things are actually built. So they design products which cannot be manufactured. And we work very, very hard to make sure that people appreciate that your job has interfaces both into the factory and back into marketing. And that your responsibility is to not be cool and cute, but to actually make something that's practical at the end of the day. 